So, I recently got a ball python. She is a pinstripe ball python. I got her from BHP Reptiles in uh, Michigan, and I had her stripped down here because I'm in North Carolina right now. I have her in an HDX 27-gallon uh, tub, and before I had that, I had a hefty, really cheap, um, just like clear plastic container, but once I put a heat pad under it, it kind of started melting, so that was not going to fly. So I got a nicer, like thicker plastic, um, HDX plastic tub, and that handles the heat just fine. But it was, it, since it's completely black, I cut out the bottom of the hefty container, and then I cut out a window out of the HDX container, and put in the window and cell coned it in. So in her tank, I have Aspen uh, snake bedding uh, from ZooMed. I originally had a, a more expensive, like realistic looking water bowl that uh, actually started leaking, so I returned it, and I just got a cheap water dish. Uh, I think it's just for, for rodents or any smaller animal, and um, it's the one that uh, Ryan Barczyk uses from BHP, so I thought it'd be perfect, and it was like half the price, so why not? She has a cold hide, which is just um, just a like a half a log. The temperature on her cold side is normally around 80 degrees. On her warm side, she has a cork bark hide, and she seems to enjoy that's where she spends most of her time. And then on her warm side is uh, 95 degrees. So I originally had a 8 watt uh, um, under the tank heater, so it got it up to a good porch like heat, but then uh, somehow on the other side of the tank there was a 20 degree temperature gradient, which was crazy. So like it was like at 75 or I, sometimes it got even to like 70 degrees, which is insanely crazy. So I got a second 4 watt heater and I put that on the bottom up for like closer to her cold side. So, and now it stays in a nice 80 degrees. I did try squirting down the tank, keep the humidity up, but that just got it way, way, way too high. It got into like 70% humidity, which is way too high for a ball python. So I have been just like, just leaving it alone. It's been staying at like 40, which is good. Now I've been trying to feed her. She still hasn't eaten for me yet, but every time I try to, I take a frozen mouse and I put it in a plastic bag. I just got a cup from Chick-fil-A and I take some hot water from the tap, put it in the cup, I fill it like probably three quarters of the way, and then I put the mouse that's in the plastic bag into the water, and then I make sure it's fully submerged. You can put whatever you want on it. If it, if it doesn't sink down all the way, then just wait an hour or until the mouse is fully warmed up so it looks like it's alive. And then just try it dangling in front of them. She tried once, but she missed and she kind of got scared and went away. When she wouldn't take it when I was dangling and the mouse in front of her, she I I left it in overnight, but she still wouldn't take it. So I'm just gonna keep on trying and hope for the best. So thank you guys for watching. But if you haven't seen my last video, it was all about snakes. There's a link down in the description and you can go check that out. And I will see you guys later.